people welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is Alexis Jada and welcome so today's video we're gonna be doing a foundation review this is on the new wet n wild mega cushion foundation SPF of 15 and I did pick up the shade honey beige when we were in the store me and Eileen look you guys we found the wet n wild cushion foundation well, how am I supposed to like, I'm gonna, like grab onto your eyebrow that's okay this be the one that blends which one which one goes better <laughs> None. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like in between us. Oh, that really hurt. <laughs> Let me see. See, who needs a waxing? <laughs> It'd be here. That's what I was saying. Like, probably in between these two. The shade range doesn't go that deep. I'm hoping that there's more because the deepest they had was tawny. So I am going to prep my nose. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. Just a little bit just to blur out those pores. Those pores are getting big and big. Now going in with my J.Cat Beauty Makeup Primer Spray. Jasmine. Smells so good. So now going in with the foundation. I hope it matches me. I really, really do. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can see it in the back. Do you guys see that? You guys can see the foundation in the back. Comes like this. Here is the mirror. You just gotta take off that strip. Wet and wild. And there is the color right there. I'm excited. Okay, so let's go in and let's just use this little cushion. I never ever use the cushions, but let's give it a try. Press down. Oh, there we go. Dang, that was just like pigmentation. Look at that pigmentation. So I'm just going to. Kind of blend that in. Okay. I think it I think it matches me. Oh my gosh, and a little bit does go a long way. That looks freaking nice. Look at that. And over here, let's do it on our forehead. It doesn't smell bad. I was thinking that it was going to smell like their photo focus, which smells like paint. It doesn't really have a smell to it, which is nice. Get in between the brow. Oh, this is pretty nice. Like, I'm not mad at it. It looks a little bit orange. Yeah, it looks pretty orange. That's okay. So here is no foundation. Foundation. No foundation. Foundation. I think it looks pretty good. It looks like a natural finish, but I can see kind of like the orange. It's it's giving me like a medium kind of coverage. When I swipe, look, it's very like, very, 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 very full coverage. And then when you kind of blend it out, it goes pretty medium coverage. I'm sure we can build it up, but I'm just going off of like, it doesn't stay like that, you know? My make sense, but it looks, it looks nice. Like it feels kind of somewhat a little bit watery. Oh my gosh, I just covered my freaking brow. Stupid. Let's just bully through that bitch. There you go. Like, it looks pretty okay. Like, it really does. It looks pretty okay. I'm gonna get around the nose. Okay, okay. So you get more coverage if you kind of press it in like that and don't swipe like I was just doing. Because I just patted right there and it looked more full coverage. So I guess if you pat... Like it would a beauty sponge, beauty blender, full coverage, like full coverage. I just hate that I look so orange. I don't know if it's showing off in the camera, but I look orange. Let me see if I, I look better with concealer. So going in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, we're going to apply that just right underneath. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a beauty sponge. Okay, that's kind of helping it out. That kind of helped it out for sure. Like that really helped even it out. So I will be contouring using the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Contour. I'm going to do like a light sort of contour. I'm gonna go in with a Sonakashic brush and <laughs> bam, they got, it's freaking, it's in here. It's not powder, stupid. Okay, so we're going to chisel the nose. No. C. D. I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Powder. Wow. This is in the shade Banana. Mm -hmm. And we're going to set very lightly underneath my eye. My eye. eye. Press it around my nose because that's where I tend to get oily. <laughs> Salud. 
no one wants to be up in the mix today. Now going in with my Take the Bronze. And this is from The Bomb Cosmetics. We'll be picking up this shade right here. Applying it right there and just lightly blending that. Now for blush, I will be using the Ofra Cosmetics blush. Ooh, that's pretty. So now going in with highlighter, I will be spraying my beauty sponge. Going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome. Picking up some of that and we're just going to dab that into our skin. So pretty. Okay, now to this side. This color is just like screaming to me. I don't know why. But this is the Smashbox Out Loud. It just looks like a really pretty Grand Canyon color. Okay, so going in with my J-Cat Beauty Makeup Setting Spray. So far, I'm liking how it looks. It looks pretty like, okay, okay. I like that it was cushioned. It's now 2.55. I know I'm applying makeup so late, but busy day, you guys. So here is how it looks. Up close, doesn't look bad. Okay, okay, okay. I do have combination skin, so we will see how it holds up. So I'll keep you guys updated throughout the day like I normally do, and I'll be checking in pretty late today because it is Babes Friday. Even though it's like 3 o'clock, I will be wearing the foundation for a good amount of time. Continue watching. Okay, so it's now 7.41, doing check-in. I'm still not oily, which is really good. Not oily at all. I really like how it looks on the face. As I'm looking at the foundation, at the beginning, I liked it, but now I like it even more. Sometimes there's foundations where you apply and it just gets better as time goes by. But no, for real. <laughs> like, it's good. It looks... It looks really, really good. Like, I like the way it looks. It looks really good with flash. It looks really nice. It kind of reminds me of the photo focus, but now. Like, how it looks now. Not how it looked at the beginning, but how it looks now. I'm hoping it stays looking this good throughout the rest of the night. I'm going to leave with the babe. We're going to go out to eat, go watch a movie. So, I'm still going to be wearing it. It looks really nice. I like, I like the way it matches my neck. It looks good. It kind of was, like, bothering me right here because of how it's creasing. But now looking at it, it's not that bad. If anything, when I wear this daily, I can just go in, add powder, blot, whatever, go on throughout the day. So I will check in one last time, and that will be later on tonight. So stay tuned. Okay, so it's now 11.23. I'm done for the night. Got back. A really, really good forehead. I can see a bunch of wrinkles, but I make a lot of face expressions. So I try not to hold that against the foundation itself. But you can tell it's very, very very noticeable right here like a lot it, you can just see it you can see where the foundation is disappearing right here my cracks and we still have this right here at first i was like okay the foundation is fading away really good as time is going on it's getting better but i should have just kept it on for like maybe another hour or two and then boom called it a day because as i'm looking at it up close from afar it looks good but up close not so good my chin as well you can kind of see like there's some separation going on right here the nose doesn't look that good other than that right here looks so good right here good right here it's just the areas where I kind of like scrunch up my face which is like my nose and my chin smile laugh all that it creases but what I did notice with this foundation I didn't get oily at all which is surprising just creasing just Lots of face, face expressions. I probably would have to just powder a lot and just touch up. Let me see how it would look if I just did a touch up. I like using my Too Faced Peach Blur. This baby right here comes in handy. So I'm pretty sure if I do my touch ups throughout the day, my forehead will not bother me. I'm going to zoom back in so you guys can see. So crazy. I love when it takes care of the problem because I'm just like, mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, so I'll try and do a before and an after but now my forehead just looks it looks fine you don't see like all the creasing that I just had even if I go like that right now it still doesn't look as bad as it did a minute ago like it doesn't so that is what I would do to fix 
those areas because those are the ones that really really bothered me so I do like the foundation and I can just fix the problem areas again I didn't get oily I just like a little bit of oil a little bit a little bit not even a lot which is surprising because it doesn't say like it's matte or anything highlight is still on from earlier highlight is still on nothing else has disappeared it's 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 good minus the creasing on forehead and here but other than that it's it's good I recommend it. Hopefully they do expand the shade range again and get on that ASAP because this is really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions wear test review. <laughs> it's a long ass title. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already to keep updated my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.